This May, the Philippines is hosting the 2014 World Economic Forum on East Asia. Philippine officials are hoping to use the occasion to showcase the Philippine economic miracle, the transformation of the country from Asia's sick man to one of the world's fastest growing economies. I am here with the country's finance secretary, Cesar Purisima, to ask him about economic outlook facing the country and if the miracle is holding. Secretary Purisima, thanks for joining us. Last year, the world's most powerful typhoon hit the country and global interest rates are on the rise. So how are economic prospects looking for the Philippines this year and the next? The good thing going for the country uh, is that uh, demographically, it's uh, the youngest in uh, Asia. Uh, two, um, uh, consumption is something we can sustain because we're a structural current account surplus uh, uh, country. And unlike other countries, uh, consumption is not an issue for us. It's been the driver for growth. Uh, third, our fiscal position uh, has uh, increasing space, so we've been increasing our infrastructure uh, spend. No? Uh, are we still going to see the same kinds of growth rates we've seen in the past two years, uh, two years going forward until the end of the Aquino administration? The average growth rate uh, the past four years is about 6.3 percent, no? mm -hmm. as opposed to about 4.5 percent the 10 years before that. No? So it's almost a two percentage point uh, improvement. but. You know, uh, I don't think we can stop at that. No? Uh, we believe, uh, as proven by other uh, countries, that you can go even beyond seven uh, to eight uh, or higher. No? But what you need to do is continue to uh, invest in the uh, fundamentals. We know that the country's uh, tax to GDP ratio has been going up. Uh, but is, is the increase that we've seen between 2010 and, tw and 2013, is that enough? to uh, sustain the government going forward, especially with uh, the government's uh, plans to double infrastructure spending to 5% of GDP by 2016? Uh, definitely not. Uh, we're not resting on our laurels. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, we've been uh, instituting reforms at the Bureau of Customs, and uh, the first uh, four months since this latest uh, reform effort have shown uh, very uh, good uh, results. No? Uh, as we expand the tax base, I think um, we will have to look at, uh, for example, lowering uh, income tax uh, uh, rates and then uh, looking at uh, uh, broadening consumption uh, taxes so that we have a flatter organization, more uh, tax system, and uh, more uh, competitive with, uh, uh, with, with our neighbors. The, the Philippines was a pioneer in privatizing uh, the power industry. But 20 years after the reforms were undertaken, uh, the problem seems to be recurring. Uh, power reserves in Luzon are very thin and there's rotating brownouts in Mindanao. What, what do you think should the government do to encourage more investments in the power sector? Uh, where I think uh, we need to focus uh, in is structural reform. No? In the meantime, uh, because of the faster growth of the uh, economy, uh, you know, we're seeing that the, that the reserves are a bit thin. No? After several years of uh, relatively faster growth, uh, for finally uh, poverty incidents uh, began to ease uh, in the first half of last year, according to the latest statistics. But at the same time, economists are saying that uh, Typhoon Haiyan uh, may uh, trigger another round of increase in poverty numbers. What is the government doing to minimize the impact of the typhoon? On, on, on poverty incidents. Improving uh, their people's lives is the primary goal of uh, any country. And in the case of the Philippines, alleviating poverty is a main goal of uh, the major goal of President uh, uh, Aquino. Uh, we don't uh, subscribe to trickle-down economics, but it's important that the economy is doing well so that you have a healthy uh, platform. The high-end uh, event, I think uh, there is a silver lining to it. Um, that area was very dependent on coconut. As you know, uh, coconut takes a long time to grow. So that will now us force us to revisit uh, the coconut-based economy and help them convert into more cash crops, link them better to the market. And in the process, I think if we succeed in doing that, then we'll have a dent, a bigger dent on uh, poverty. Then the other area uh, where uh, we need to have more sectoral in uh, intervention to, to, to uh, really have an impact on poverty is manufacturing. That the big handicap of the Philippines is power cost. Right. No? Uh, but manufacturing is an area we cannot leave uh, behind because this is the sector that gives uh, lesser skilled Filipinos higher quality jobs. No? 
And uh, again, uh, that's uh, the key to uh, reducing poverty uh, also. Secretary Porisima, thank you very much.